An Eaton police officer has a new job and a new lease on life. Holly Samuels is live with the story of a canine that's had a long journey here to Ohio. Holly. Well, tonight, Eaton's new police dog, Tucker, will get his official certification, but he spent the day getting to know his new department and getting used to being the center of attention. That's a big change from where he was just one year ago. Good boy. With his new police vest proudly strapped to his chest, three-year-old German shepherd Tucker gets to work. Find it. Good boy. When he smells a bag of heroin tucked under a wheel well, he sits, alerting Sergeant Chad DePew to his find. Uh, the biggest obstacle for me was uh, learning how he works. DePew is slowly getting to know his new partner. It's their first day on the job together, but they spent last week getting to know each other at a training facility in Texas. But he gives another tool. Find it. Find it. Good boy. Tucker is a trained narcotics and track dog, but he started this year without much of a future. He was at a shelter in California awaiting a scheduled euthanasia after his family decided he had too much energy. Basically sitting on death row about eight months ago, and now he's uh, um, not only working and has a new home with us, he's uh, people giving to him, and he'll be able to give back, and it's a... Uh, it's really amazing kind of the, the path he's taken this, this past year. The path from California led to Texas, where a dog trainer learned his story and adopted him. Nine months later, Tucker met Sergeant DePew, but the department couldn't afford him, so the community stepped in. The Support Military Working Dogs Organization in Springfield donated the money the department needed to get Tucker. And the generosity spread. A local veterinarian has now donated Tucker's care. And the Preble County Humane Society stepped up to provide his food. So the support we've had has, has been great. I look forward to be able to use him in the community and, and to give back a little bit. Well, Tucker could be on the streets by the end of this week to meet his new community. And donations have been pouring in. Sergeant DePew says there's almost enough money to buy Tucker a ballistics vest. Now, if you'd like to help, call the Eaton Police Department. That number is 456-5531. Reporting live, I'm Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.